Hi, I'm Ricky, Master Fabricator here at Speed Factory Racing in Washington State. We're going to be documenting the build process of the 2013 Vibrant Performance Sport Front Wheel Drive Honda Civic. We will be utilizing Vibrant's full line of professional fabrication components throughout this build. Whether you are a weekend hobbyist or a professional fabricator, chances are Vibrant Performance has just what you're looking for. First, I'm going to build the forward facing turbo manifold. Uh, we decided to go with uh, Vibrant's T4 divided inlet flange and I'm going to be making the collector out of stainless steel inch and a half scheduled 10 tubing. You can see my witness marks here already. We're going to be making two uh, custom ultra long merge collectors uh, for this particular turbo manifold because it's such a high horsepower application. Here's two pieces of the inch and a half scheduled 10 tubing which I've cut to build one of the collectors and the next step is going to be to put them in a custom jig that we built. To, uh, to achieve the desired angle of the merge collector. I have the first set of uh, collector pipes cut here with our jig. Pretty happy with the fitment on that, so I'm gonna go ahead and make another one of these and then do the final surface preparation and then I'm gonna weld both of these collectors together. To cut the mouth of these, I made them a little bit small because these need to be uh, custom shaped to this uh, turbine inlet flange. Um, so I'm going to be cutting uh, special angles on these in order to uh, be swept out a little bit on each side to allow me to get into the middle and weld it. I did a little bit of minor porting and just made sure that the turbine inlet flange was uh, machined flat and uh, this collector looks pretty good so we're going to move on now to uh, positioning the turbocharger in the engine bay. And the next step was to round up the rest of the fabrication materials to complete our turbo manifold. Um, we have Vibrant's uh, inch and a half 304 stainless steel that we're going to use for this project. Uh, it's pre-cut conveniently the straight sections into uh, 12 inch lengths. Uh, we're using the Vibrant Performance uh, 90 degree elbows and the uh, 45 degree elbows and we also have uh, our own head flange for this project because it has our company's logo engraved on it. Um, but Vibrant also offers uh, high quality head flanges for most uh, popular engines. Got the manifold all tacked up and now we're ready to fully weld it in place. Putting some finishing touches on the manifold. Now that we've got the brace all done, we can send it off for coating. Okay, now we're ready to get started on the exhaust downpipe and the wastegate dump tube. We're using a tile 60 millimeter wastegate. So we're going with the vibrant performance uh, UJ uh, Mandrel Ben, it's made out of stainless steel. It's vibrant part number 2607. And for the downpipe, it's going to be a 4 inch stainless steel tight radius U bend, and that's a vibrant part number 2658. Now that the downpipe and dub tube combo and turbo manifold are done, uh, everything is getting sent off right now to get uh, ceramic coated. <laughs> 